Hello pals and gals, time for another Photoshop tutorial. Today this is a part one of two parts uh, of this tutorial. This part one will include how to recreate this cartoony effect. Okay, if you want to check out part two, go right here. Okay, link right here in this general area, the bottom. There will also be the information on the info bar. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do if you want to follow along exactly with what I'm doing download the image that I'm going to be using right here okay right here original image that you're going to be needing this area okay place downloaded all right let's get started so in this little section I want to show you guys how to take this image okay and turn it into a little cartoon Okay, we're going to be using the pen tool and the brush tool. So we're going to get really familiar with those two. Okay, um, first thing you want to do, I'm going to get rid of my other stuff here, my other layers. This is for part two. I'm going to group this, these little bad boys here. They're going to go away. Okay. So what you want to do first, if you the only thing you're going to have open when you have your little files here, I'm going to make, don't mind with what I'm doing here, I'm going to do a little screenshot here for me. Okay. So what you want to do is when you get your image right here, this is the image that we're going to be working on, I want to make a new layer. I'm going to name this layer white. I'm going to fill it with white. Okay. Sugar for that is Command Delete if you have your default colors. Default colors. Okay. So Command Delete does fill background color, and Option Delete does foreground fill color. Okay. So white. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to name this one Jacket because that's the one that we're going to be. Uh, do it. No, actually, you know, first we're going to name this hair. Okay, so we're going to remove the eye on the white layer here. And I'm going to get my brush tool over here. And I'm going to get my brush palette under Windows Brush. Shortcut for that is F5. And I want to get a nice, fluffy, just a round brush. Okay, and now I'm going to tweak it to make it work for what we need it to do. So in here, the settings that we're going to be using are going to be size. I'm going to make the size of this about an 8. Okay, the hardness is going to go to 100 and the spacing is going to go to 1%. I'm going to make the angle about 130, negative 135. Like so. And I'm going to make the roundness at about... 30, maybe 25, okay, like so. Then I'm going to go under the shape dynamics and I'm going to make sure that size jitters to zero and then control is to fade, okay. And uh, my settings right here, I'm liking them, I'm leaving uh, the, the fade to 243 and the minimum diameter to 30%, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back and select my pen tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is create the hair. So I'm going to start at the very top, the root of the hair, like so. And I'm just going to pull and drag to create the curves. Pull and drag on the pen tool. And I'm going to complete the hair maybe down here. Okay. You want to make the hair really, really flowy, really natural looking. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit stroke path. Here's the magic. Here's where all the magic happens. Stroke path. I'm going to make sure that my tool is set under brush. I'm going to simulate pressure. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, right now you can't really see anything. That's why we have created this white layer. Like so. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to control click or right click if you're on a PC. And I'm going to hit delete path. Bam, there's your hair. Okay, now I want to be able to have different textures and, and, and uh, 
thicknesses of the hair so I'm going to go back to my brush tool and I'm going to move, move the size make the size a little bit thicker um, 12 looks good bring the minimum diameter up a bit like so and I'm going to bring the fade down that looks good I'm going to go back and remove the eye off of the white and now I'm going to start again I'm going to make a new one pen tool selected I'm going to go in the other direction I'm going to go start here click and drag here click and drag and out okay right click stroke path hit OK okay right click delete path I'm going to hit my white and now I can see what my path looks like okay I'm going to do that for the entire hair all right all the hair filled it all out okay and then I want to move on to a different part so say I'm going to make a new layer make new layers make new layers make new layers I cannot stress this enough you need to use layers Photoshop was made to be using layers okay I'm going to name this one eyes and that's not how you spell eyes eyes here we go zoom in nice and tight and go click and drag click and drag okay I'm going to make it a little bit winged here right click stroke path okay right click delete there okay if you find that it's too thick use your brush tool okay go back to the brush tweak it down move this these are not rules these are uh, exceptions these are things that you want to manipulate with that you might want to mess with you know the size the shape what angle it's coming in from it's all adjustable okay one little tip when you're doing noses and some of the mouth you don't want to outline the full thing you just want to give the illusion of it being there so for example if I were going to do the nose I might do the line right here just this tiny little bear here little outline of the the roundness of the nose and and obviously just a little line for the nostrils that's it I'm not gonna go in and create every single shape that would be the nose because that would be um too much work and overly drawing it would be too much detail and doesn't give it a good effect the same thing for the mouth okay what I really want to show you guys is how I created the stitching on the jacket okay I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to name this layer Jacket. Okay. I'm going to go back to my brush tool. And I want to get, go to my brush pres present, and I want to get a square brush. So, right there. Square brush. This is a, it's a normal kind of set. I'm going to hit a pen. Okay. And then I want to get a kind of small brush. I'm going to get a four pixel square brush. And go back to my brush here. And on the brush tip shape, I want to make the spacing really kind of distanced. I'm putting it right now at about 476, somewhere there, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I want to make my little squares off an angle, so I'm going to leave it at 140, uh, 45, the angle here. And then I think the smoothing, if if you want to, it's not really necessary. Then I'm going to go back to my pen tool. I'm going to create the path onto which this little stitching would be done. So right there, I'm going to right click, stroke path. The one thing here you have to do is you have to make sure you remove simulate pressure. Like so. I'm going to hit OK. Delete path. And there it is, stitching. And you can do that for all of this. Like so. super simple it gives it a good detail um, just something nice that it adds to to the rest of the work okay so there's the stitching now I also did the zipper zipper in the same way except that the squares instead of choosing a small uh, four pixel square 
you might want to pick, you know, like the zipper is a little bit larger, so maybe like a 10 or a 12. That's up to you, okay? So, um, you can easily recreate this whole thing. The same thing for the jacket, you know, you go back and you get your nice uh, round shape, little fluffy one, hardness to 100, spacing down to 1, size, you know, maybe an 8, angle, negative 135, roundness to 35, maybe even smaller, up to you. Okay, I'm going to go back to my pen tool, I obviously make a new layer, and I'm going to name this layer Scarf, and I'm just going to quickly go through here. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, you can go outside the lines, it's not a coloring book, this is your own work, do with it what you please. Thick lines, thin lines, it's all about giving the feel of your work. See, that's a much thicker line than the rest of the lines here. Okay? Work with it, have fun. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, let me know. I can help you out. Okay? So, in the end, it's going to look like a bunch of lines on your work. Um, and it's going to look weird until you hit your white layer. And there you go. See, here's the details that I was talking about. The nose. You just want to give it a little, just a little, kind of pretend like it's there. If you notice here, I have the fade on both sides. Ah, yes. Instead of being a single-sided uh, line, it is faded. And the way to do that, you go back to your brush tool, and instead of doing fade, you're going to do pen pressure. Ta-da! You can tweak around the edges here, and that's how you get fades on both sides. Okay, that would be very well recommended for the nose, for the mouth, for the little line on the chin, Little lines that you want them to be there, but you don't want them to be that prominent. Great time to use the pen pressure. Okay? Now, now that you've completed this, you can now move on to part two. Click here in this area. Click here for part two. Okay? Um, if you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, any suggestions, um, you know, messing around with music, with my tutorials, um, messing around with my mic, with my lighting, with with my current kind of crazy backgrounds, and, and all sorts of crazy stuff. So let me know what I can do, what I can help, and if anything of that is working. Okay? Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.